Local homegrown US artists have taken centre stage at this year's Comic-Con International in San Diego with talent on display for the world to see. Game of Thrones fans, they were also given a treat, getting up close and personal with the stars of the upcoming prequel, House of the Dragon. Danica DiGiorgio filed this report. What's up, Scar News? What's cracking? What's cracking is Comic-Con International. What have you liked so far? Well, the good food, the good people, the good squirrels. The whole atmosphere, everything in general, can top that. I think it's all been great, but I think what's really interesting is seeing all the different, um, like, medias that you've shows that you've never seen for a long time like there's all kinds of stuff it's not just the same show everywhere this year so it's cool it's been three days of fun costumes and of course cosplay but for local artists it's a gold mine of exposure how important is comic-con then for your business uh comic Con's actually pretty hugely it, it, it's it's very important Lee Cozy is a portrait artist best known for his work in Star Wars projects. His art is highly sought after and Comic-Con puts him on the map. Just so it, each, each piece is pretty much like when I come up with the ideas, I'll talk with a, a client or you know, I'll get what, what's the objective of the piece and kind of go from there. As you walk along the vast stalls, you never know who you might run into. I've been at Comic-Con International for the last few days. I've met a variety of people, but I've got to say, this is a first for me. Hi, what's your name? I'm Wolsey. What's been your favourite exhibition so far? Oh, well, the Marvel Whatnot exhibit, and I DJed their after party last night. Let's go! Are you drunk? Oh, all day. <laughs> Game of Thrones fans were treated to a one-hour panel with the cast and crew of the upcoming prequel, House of the Dragon. So what can we expect? Uh, fire and blood. <laughs> and dragon. It was George R. R. Martin who stole the show. The new ten-part series is based on his book Fire and Blood and follows the history of House Targaryen and its dragon-riding family 200 years before the original series. He spoke about handing over the Game of Thrones dynasty to executive producers Ryan Condal and Mikhail Sapochnik. It's, uh, it, it's pretty exciting. Um, for sure he's uh, nervous at the beginning. Because, uh, you know, these, these books, these characters are like my kids. Uh, and when you give your kid to uh, people for adoption, you wonder how they will be treated. Australian Millie Alcock stars as a young Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, the first female on a quest to conquer the land. But riding a dragon wasn't as glamorous as you may think. You're propped up on what looks to be a mechanical bull that you might ride at like, an, um, like a bar or a pub and they can't they, they they harness you in and then you're just lifted like six feet off the ground the panel had fans wanting more it was epic it's definitely something that's going to amaze the fans a lot more than probably Game of Thrones. House of the Dragon premieres on Monday, August 22 and is available to stream on Binge and watch on Foxtel. Danika DiGiorgio, Sky News, San Diego.